Oh, that was it. That okay. was it. So, okay, so you're referring to this lesson, uh, asking about being more rhythmic. Uh, how can you do some of those different little nuances and things that slap players do or bass players do when they slap um, in between things? Like, am I just keeping time? And honestly, it is just a timekeeping thing. I did this involuntarily. Uh, when I started to play, I just wanted to keep time or keep better time. Uh, and I was just experimenting. So take a look at the paradiddle lesson. I think it's called paradiddle slap something. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll try to link it down below. Paradiddle slap, and it'll show you like how to be in tune with a drummer or some of the drum patterns that we can do on bass as well. Uh, and just kind of start off by being creative. Uh, in the beginning, it wasn't anything I was trying to do. It was, like I said, it was involuntary. I was just... Hey guys, real quick, sorry to interrupt this if you're serious only if you're serious about taking your bass playing to the next level i get tons of questions all the time derek do you have programs do you have lessons do you have a course absolutely we have everything you need at bass nation academy we have courses we have live classes you have more direct access to me um, to be able to answer your questions and get feedback we have a video q a section it's a ton of stuff check it out for yourself link is going to be in the description don't want to take too much time away from the lesson but anyway had to mention that check you guys later so I was just creating different rhythms and patterns. You can kind of tell when the beat changes a little bit. Uh, so I wanted to do So if he was playing a groove like that So you get the idea. So I can try to mimic anything a drummer plays or anything that I think of in my head. Um, it's really just mimicking whatever you hear. Percussion wise, obviously your thumb should be the bass drum or the kick. Uh, your slap should be the snare or the hi-hat. You know, anything like that. Try to think of a drummer, right? Think like that. There's really no technical way that I learned this or that I even teach this. And I'm sure there's plenty of different ways, but I just don't do it. I like to go bass off of feel, but it's just really trying to mimic everything a drummer does, right? Even with those different drum patterns or drum beats, you know, listen to a song, play a song. Uh, preferably some, a song that <laughs> has slap bass in it, but listen to what the drummer is doing as well. I would literally just practice. And wherever your hand leads or leads off, you wanna come back down with that same beat. So if I'm, lead, if I'm doing something like this, so kick, kick, snare, and I can mute this and hit this fretboard as another beat. So it's just different patterns you can do and just kind of, there's no, and I, and I hate to do this, but I, I've, I've never really even explained on how to do this. It's really more of a feeling. You wanna utilize one hand first. Just experiment it. It, it. Do it more when you feel, you know, when it feels good, right? When it feels better. Eventually you can start adding that left hand in there to kind of muffle or mute the notes. So that's one simple way you can do it. Just kind of go back and forth from a slap to, a, I don't even know what to call that, to a pat. I don't know, slap, pat, I don't know, it's weird. So slap, so thumb, tap, thumb, tap, pop. Nice little exercise, nice little rhythm to do. You can kind of mimic a lot of drum beats with that one pattern. It's almost like doing kick drum. like a double kick drum type of feel. Anyway, you, you get the idea, right? So it's not really anything that was ever taught. It's just more so along the lines when you get used to something in different patterns. I, I used to have this problem too. It's funny. Now, this is not an actual like formal lesson. I'm just kind of talking here, but maybe everybody needs to hear this. Um, I, even I was playing, I, I got terrified whenever I would have to play a slap song. 
because I just felt like my slap wasn't natural. I felt like I was popping and slapping in the wrong place. Um, I just felt like my timing wasn't great until I thought completely different, okay? Just think like a drummer, right? Think like a drummer, be a little bit more loose with it, but at the same time, tighten it up, right? I think there was a, there was a, uh, a track that I had to play. I think it was in B flat. Yeah, it went B flat to five and then the minor six or to sharp five and then to the four and then to the five. Yeah. So my slap was so weird. Like it was like, the, okay, the rhythm is this. That's the bass line. was the baseline right there my picking uh, on point getting loose right getting busy with it so <laughs> my picking was okay with it but it was a slap it was required to slap but when I went to slap it was just like it sounded less it was like like I couldn't keep time so save the time was this one two do, do. So I just, I, it was just like, it was bad. Like I just, but then I started thinking, and I think whoever I was recording with or doing something with or playing with, they said like, just think, think drums. Like think, you know, be a little bit more loose with it. You, you're too tight, too tense with it, you know, loosen up. Uh, so when I started to try to play the same way, and I do a lot of the little nuance things too. It's the same exact thing, the ghost note stuff. When you guys practice ghost notes, it's the same thing as the ghost notes with like plucking because 90% of the notes. So half 90% of the notes aren't being played. They just So the drones were doing this. So let's just bring it on home. So the drones were doing do Terrible drummer, by the way. But anyway, so that's what the drums were doing. So it's kick, 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 snare, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, snare. Also doing like hi hat movement. I'm not even gonna try to do it. Anyway, so I tried to mimic that. So that just helps a little bit, but also know and realize that there's a fine line, right? There's a fine line between uh, doing too much, right? And still being solid with the rhythm. So I'm just, I'm thinking like this right now because I don't have drums. So if I'm playing along with drums, I'm gonna back up just a little bit more because I've played like this and practiced like this by myself so much, just with a metronome. Uh, when I get with a drummer, I try not to overplay, but at the same time, keep it tight, keep it loose and have those little nuanced things in there. Too much can be a bad thing. Make sure you know it's coming out clear and precise. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.